Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had to do like a dozen of these mini wine barrels today, and I imported a actually imported a picture of I took a picture of the wine barrel, and first thing you're going to notice it looks like the top is off center. Well, the top is off center, this fill cap, but I went with this because that's the center. And so he took out the plug before he gave me to it, like the little spigot. I guess this is actually a working where you could put whiskey in it. And I actually wanted to put more engraving on here. You know, I made a really neat deal, but this is all he wanted. So the reason for the video <clears throat> is you have to miss this hole. I don't know what this hole was for. I know what this hole was for. And he was okay with going off the edge because when you put the plug in there it'll look kind of cool but you wouldn't want to engrave elmer or the private reserve right there in that hole so that's what the video is for so i you know i made a ring the ring was uh four and eighth inch ring so then you move your laser over and you put your red dot pointer right on the center and and, the, and this dot, in this case, kind of helped me because it, it got me find the center. And then you run the job center, center, and here's what it looks like afterwards. And I pre-warned the guy, and, and you need to kind of know this. Uh, oak does not engrave very well. And it, you know, the, and this picture is not going to show it, but the different grains burn at different depths and colors. And, you know, your maple and your cherry and your alder and your, all the other woods burn pretty much evenly. Oak just doesn't. I, I almost refuse to do some stuff in oak because uh, it'd be a lot of work. And, and really, you know, I think I ran this one at twice just to see if I could make it look better. And it didn't look any better, you know, than the first time. But how I did this, after I knew this was center center, I, I had the laser print this circle with the lid open. So I knew I was in the center, but I wanted to miss this hole. So I just made me some text boxes and put them around that hole. And the picture's a little bit off. They were dead on. They, they weren't even that close when I brought it back into the house. It's a little bit off. And uh, as you can see in this picture right here, I missed the hole quite a bit. So... With that said, you can run these boxes with your lid open in, the light, in your red dot pointer, and it's going to go around there, and you can see whether it's going to hit that hole or not. Because anything inside that box is going to be where their text is, and everything outside is going to be touched. Anyway, I hope that made sense, and you can kind of understand that. It was kind of a cool project. I don't know that you'll ever do a wine barrel but if you're ever doing something that has a knot hole in it um you know or, or a mar in the wood or you know just you know something else you can put it so that there's three hairlines there's a circle a box and a box and you can actually just press and you don't even have to select them just press vector and it'll run all three of these and you just sit there and watch it anyway i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching